Welcome back to Audit Zone. Police officers encounter different calibers of citizens during traffic stops and other criminal investigations. Sometimes, the suspect turns out to be a highly ranked citizen, such as the city mayor, who tries to use their position to influence the officer's decision. Here are three insane times cops realize they just arrested their mayor. On September 27, 2023, an officer with the Parma Police Department pulled over Kathy Luke, the former mayor of North Royalton. The reasons for the traffic stop were speeding and driving with an expired license plate. During interrogation, the officer observed that Kathy appeared disoriented, which suggested she might be intoxicated. Hello. Hi. Um, let's go ahead and pull in this parking lot. Does that sound good? Okay. No. What's that? Why? I guess you're going 43. Do you have a driver's license with you? No. Okay. Where's your driver's license at? Since Kathy stopped in the middle of the road, the officer asked her to park the vehicle at a safer location to ensure their safety. Kathy acted like she would comply, but then drove off speedily. While she was trying to escape, Kathy eventually ran out of luck when she rammed her vehicle into a parked tow truck. Luckily for her, she didn't sustain any injury. He locks. Go and put the car in park. Okay. Sure. Okay, put the car in park. After pretending to comply with the officer's request, she drives off sending the officer into a short-lived chase. Speeds around 65. And she made a right-hand turn on the burger and crashed into a truck right in the parking lot. The officer is able to catch up to Lux after she crashed into a tow truck. Get out. Get out. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Get out. I won. Get up. Get up. I will. The officer eventually is able to cuff Lux so he can put her inside the back of the police. While being placed into custody, Kathy still believed she did nothing wrong and resisted the officer. Squad car. Get up there. Have a seat. All right, I'll call what you're doing is wrong. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, have a seat. Come on. What you're doing is wrong. Come on. Okay. I want my stuff. I, I will. Get up. Have a seat. Come on. No, I want my stuff. No, we got to get up here. That's not how it works. Come on. Listen. Let me tell you. No. No. Let me tell you. Put your foot up works. there and set up. No. As if her former political status would get her out of trouble, she reminded the officer she was the former mayor of North Royalton. She soon learned that nobody is above the law. Could I, could I please? Have yeah, a seat. I told you I'd get it for you. Do you not remember taking off? Restraint. He's in the hallway. 5531 West 24. You know what? I was the mayor of the city of North Wales. Okay. I I was. A, I have been so f used by. As expected, Kathy's bragging about her former status did not affect the outcome of this incident. She got multiple charges, including speeding, driving with expired plate, operating while intoxicated, and driving with an open container. She was jailed and released the following day. As of recording this video, her court case is still ongoing. On August 29, 2020, Pequot Lakes and Nisswa police officers pulled over a car full of young people on a road leading to the Brainerd Lakes area. The place where the vehicle was stopped was close to an equipment rental business owned by Nisswa Mayor Fred Heidman. Heidman saw the incident and wasn't happy that the traffic stop could leave a bad impression on the young tourists, so he confronted the officers while also recording them. The mayor didn't hold back the use of profanities to express his dissatisfaction. You want to just stand back over there? What are you guys doing? Just stand back over there. What are you guys doing? We're stopping cars. For what? For I don't know why we're stopping him, but he was the one that I just got here, okay? You guys are you guys are emptying his car out on the road. Okay. What the hell are you guys up to? Just go stand back over there. Don't you guys you, just don't you guys have something better to do like the Go stack go stand back over there. You okay? know what? This isn't I safe am for you. This I'm the mayor of this town and you guys get the hell off the highway out here. Contact our TZD coordinator if you don't like what right. we're doing. This is what we're doing tonight, okay? You guys. All right. Just You're go stand back over there. 
Oh, stand back over Go there. Go do your jobs. You're yeah. not. You're not drug people. You're not. You're okay. not. You're okay. not even qualified to be pulling people over for this. Okay. Okay, well, you didn't even know that, so go back, go stand back over there. You can do the tape all you want. Just go stand back over where it's safe, okay? You're not in a safe area. I've almost got... Oh, don't tell me. I know what the f*** I'm doing. And now your dog's loose. Yeah, well, if you guys wouldn't be pulling people over, I wouldn't be out here. You guys are a disgrace. You know, you're... You know, you'd think up in this area we'd have some decent cops. You're as bad as the dinks down in Minneapolis. Right, Whatever you say. Oh, shut the up. After he was ordered to continue recording at a safe distance, Heidman left for a brief period, but then came back and started talking with the young people who were pulled over. The officers informed Heidman he was interfering with their investigation and told him to move away. When he refused to obey the order, he was arrested. Heidman was charged with misdemeanor disorderly conduct. During the Nisswa City Council meeting on September 4, 2020, the council passed a motion to request that Heidman resign from his mayoral duties. Heidman refused to resign and told the city council that he had previously informed them about police misconduct in the city. Heidman eventually lost his mayoral post after he was defeated for re-election in November 2020. Officer Julia Beskin with the Sarasota Police pulled over Florida congressional candidate Martin Hyde. The reason for the traffic stop was speeding and texting while driving. From the onset, Hyde was rude to the officer and tried to use his political status to intimidate her. How you doing? How you doing, sir? I'm Sarah Sarasota Police Department. You're on audio and video recording. The reason for the stop, you were observed going 57 and a 40, and you were on your phone texting while you were doing that. That was at Euclid and Fruitvale. You don't need to point at the officer. I'm not pointing at you. I'm pointing in the direction where it was. I'll just call the chief, I said. Go right ahead, sir. Can you I see your license? Right? Yes, sir, I do. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? You can do this? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I still have a job to do, sir. Yeah, okay. What's your name? Officer Beskin, it's going to be on the citation. Can I see your insurance registration and your license, please? Sir, can I have How your paperwork? Seven years, sir. Can I see your registration, please? You're not going to give me your registration, sir. Can you arrest me? I'm asking you if you're going to produce me with your registration. You don't have it on you? Look, go call the chief of Tell him how good you just been to me. Mm -hmm. Blame this video. Okay. Can you call Marlon Brown? Can you call the mayor? Okay. We're not okay, doctor. Tell him what to do. Okay, sir. Are you refusing to produce your registration? I'm asking you if you have your registration. You're making career decisions. I'm going to do it. Sir, because you were speeding and you were texting. Where's your video? Right. After Hyde refused to present his registration, Officer Beskin went to write a citation for speeding, texting while driving, and failure to produce a registration. When she returned to present the citation, Hyde racially abused her for allegedly being Russian. Hang tight. Supervisor, I just spoke to you once. Okay. That is not okay. You yeah. want your paperwork? Is it your Russian immigrant status that makes you treat people like this? I'm saying 14 seconds. Call the supervisor. Okay. 14 dispatch, can you have my supervisor respond, please? Yeah. And then we'll see who goes. Okay. You don't want your no. paperwork? 6140. Oh, you, you don't have any water. Sir, you're going to be issued a citation. Everything you have to say. I'll wait for the supervisor. You can wait for the supervisor, but I'm going to go through what I need to go through. No, I have no interest. Right, you are going to be issued a citation. the registration. Okay. Well, you've been already issued a citation for that. For what? For failing to produce your registration. 
Right. All right. Well, sure, you gonna, you're you're going to be right. issued a citation 57 and a 40 for speeding. The fine is 256. Information in the back. Right and then I have an option to plead guilty. Camera. An option to plead not guilty and an option to take a safe driver's course. If you qualify for the course, it will reduce your fine. And it will reduce your points. If you decide to go ahead and do that. After multiple violations, including refusal to cooperate with the officer, Hyde claimed he was a law-abiding citizen. He then bragged about being a congressional candidate, as if that should exempt him from any criminal investigation. Do a prior to submission of you know payment. What? You know what he said about you? <laughs> you want to hear what he said about you? He could say all he wants about me. I got a job to do, sir. Yeah. You know what he said about okay. you? If he, he fails to you complete... Before, like, okay. And he's going to have you again. And that's fine. It's not fine. What you okay. said is fine. Sir. I'm a law-abiding citizen. You're being bloody okay. rude to me. If you decide to go ahead and do the court, just make sure you do a prior to submission of payment as they do, do think you require a certificate of completion. Know? If you sign up for it, you must complete it. Otherwise, they will go ahead and suspend your license. You are going to be issued a citation for texting and driving. Okay? You are going to be issued a citation for, ta for texting and driving. Your fine is 116. Information in the back. You're going to have an option to plead guilty and an option to plead not guilty. You are going to be issued a citation for failure to provide your registration upon request. You find us 116. Information in the back. You're you have guilty you're or not guilty. Uh, you're lying. <laughs> Green paper. You Green lying. paper tells you you have 30 days to replay. Why are you lying? You have 30 days to reply. Why are you lying? Your payment options are on the green question. form. Question. Why phone, are you lying? Phone number on the bottom when in case you have any questions. Come. When my supervisor comes, I'll wait for him with you if you like me to. Your citation no, no, you is already You I will wait. wait. I will wait, but I will wait on my car. There you go. Yeah, but you have the bad thing. Hyde's anger increased, making him storm out of his vehicle. He then continued to harass and disobey the officer as they waited for a supervisor. Clearly, this power trip politician shouldn't be holding any political position. Sir, step back into your car or stand on the sidewalk so you don't get hit by a vehicle. It's for your safety. 14 right here. Can I have another unit respond? Sir, stand over there. It's for my safety and for your safety. Sir? 10 for the driver being extremely uncooperative. Yes, Arch. I can't. He won't let me leave until a supervisor shows up. Martin Hyde. I just gave him three tickets. Yes. Bye. Speeding 57 and a 40, texting while driving, and failure to produce his registration because he told me I could look it up. And he's going to have my job. Everything is on camera. All righty. Bye. Are you still waiting for a supervisor or are you leaving? Friendly, I'm just coming down. Okay. Very good. Oh, by the way, he's a friend of mine. I'm sorry? Okay. I'm on my way over there. You know Pat Robinson, right? Yes, I do, sir. Why are you doing this? Because I have a job to do, sir. Oh, Nobody's above the law. No one's above the law. You have to have some degree of respect for law abiding. That degree of respect started the moment I walked up to your car, sir. No. You knew exactly what you were doing and you made a mistake. If that is your feeling, you are more than welcome to fight the citations in court. I'll fight the citations. Okay. I'll fight your employment. Okay. You're more than, you know, you're an influential person. You are very, you could go ahead and do that. Yes, I can. Okay. Why don't you just, say you're sorry? Because I did nothing wrong, sir. I was doing my job, but I am going to ask you either to sip, uh, sit in your car or step on the no, sidewalk because I don't want either one of us getting hit. Okay. Sir, I have nothing more to say to you, sir. You're requesting my supervisor. You can have the conversation with them now. 
sergeant from another department was the first to arrive. Hyde told the sergeant they must work together to punish Officer Beskin for being disrespectful. He also lied that he gave the officer his registration. Unsurprisingly, the registration had even expired. Sarge Frangioni is on his way. Okay. Speeding 57 and a 40. Uh, texting while driving, failing to produce his registration when I asked. He told me I could look it up. Okay. You know who he is? Yes. Right? Yeah, you probably identified him. Yes. Okay. So you're just going to stay by to cite him, or is that what you... He already got cited. Oh, he has already got yeah. citation. So He's... he just... From the moment I woke up. So he's just waiting for... He's waiting for supervisor, and I guess he spoke to Frangioni, so Frangioni is on his way. Okay. Bobby just pulled up. Okay. Hello, Mr. Hyde? I guess Frangi you, start you talked to Sergeant Frangioni by the phone? I did, yeah. Okay, he's on his way. She just re she requested another unit, so... That's why Maybe another show on a certificate uh, ticket for no registration when they've got the registration. She's trying to make her spurs, but it's a big mistake. Well, this one is the expired one, but well, it doesn't make it. It takes yeah. two seconds. Yeah, we're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. And I just want you to witness it and know that, the, yeah, the registration was right there and she deliberately chose to write the ticket. She came up, she said, the, the first, look, there's a video it. of it, so be quiet. There's a video of what you said. There is. And I've got a video of what you said. Right? Yeah. What she said was, I, I, said, I, I don't have it. She immediately said, I write your citation. She went right back. She never said anything. She went straight back. She, I denied the citation. She straight back and wrote the citation. I've lived here for 25 years. I've represented your unit. I've got no interest in listening to you, young lady. I was talking to my sergeant. Sergeant, if you don't mind if we can step over the road or to the sergeant. Yeah, just a second, officer. Yeah. Come on then. Yeah, Mr. Hyde, like I said, no, no. you know... I've represented sir. you guys yes, in the union discussions. My yes. son is a cop. I'm friends with yeah. the, yes, everybody in the police department. This is the first time mm. anybody has been disrespectful to me. And for what reason? I could care less. If they give write me a ticket, I could care less. I just pay the bloody thing. You don't mm -hmm. think I got the money? Mm -hmm. It's the manner and the nature of it. Okay. And like I said, Sergeant Fangione will be over here to talk to you about her, her uh, interaction. Yeah, I'd say. Outrageous. Yeah. yeah. Why would you do that? Why? I mean, of all the people to do it to. Yeah, I understand, sir. And, you know, I, I set you, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been with the, the uh, negotiations with you, and I understand where you're, you're coming from. I don't ask for special treatment, but I don't expect to get treated like a punk. Mm -hmm. Let me go talk to her and see. Well, it's a waste of time. Yeah. She's got it in her head. I know exactly who she is. Frangione told me exactly who she is. That's fine. Seven years might not turn into eight. He'll review it if he needs to review it. He uh, stop because it. Sarge was already calling me to do that. He just didn't know that this is who it was. Oh, okay. So he went over but I couldn't leave until it? somebody was here. So just let me know what you need me to do. Um, uh, is Sergeant Frangione coming on his way here? Is that yes. He is? Oh. Yes, he told me he was. I just wait for him to get here and then. <clears throat> uh, well, let me give him a call real quick because oh. that might that might help matters. <laughs> Sadly, when Officer Beskin's supervisor arrived, he didn't give her a chance to defend herself. Hyde then lied about what happened and even bragged about the value of his vehicle. It was as if the car's alleged price should exempt him from ever being pulled over for traffic offenses. No, no. Proceed to the route. Stay in your car. You can go to the station. Yep, go to the station. Hey, Martin. Yeah, I have to leave it on. All right. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. She lied about the cell phone thing. Okay. 
she lied about uh, I don't know the speed I could care less she'd give me the ticket all day long I care less about that and then I gave her the registration and she before she says are you registration it's in the car there somewhere she goes off she writes me a ticket she brings me back a citation I said there it is okay. and she still gives me it okay alright she's being fun and the thing is I appreciate that I back you guys left, right, and center. I understand that. I do. I do. I trust me. I do and know I that. I don't expect better treatment, but I don't expect worse treatment. If that's how you treat people, that's unacceptable. Okay. I understand. I understand your frustration. And I can get the video and I can play it. To I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I, go, well, I understand yeah. that. But you know, the thing is, I don't take kindly. She knew exactly, because I said to her, I said, yeah, right away, I said, yeah, is she going? Yeah, I'd... straight away, right in the tickets. Why? Well, she's a traffic officer, yeah, that's what we do, traffic. but I yeah, understand. I understand that's what she do. Yeah. 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 So then, it's not what you do, and you know it. Listen, she has a job to do. I'm not. Listen, I, I'm going to look way. at the. I'm going to look at the video. I I understand your concerns. I'm going to look at the video. I notified everybody in the chain of command right now. That's what I was doing. That's why I was not coming here. I thought you were going to meet me at the station, but it's not a big deal. I'll. I'm going to. She's going right now to dock her video. Right now, she's going to dock the video. And if there's problems, you will be the first to know. Well, I know there's problems. The difference is, I'll do something about. It. Okay, I understand. Yeah, I'm going to take your complaint. Is what I'm doing. That's the first step. You know, how can you write a ticket for no registration when you've got the registration? I mean, as if I get a hundred and fifty thousand dollar car. I've lived here for twenty five years. And I don't register the car. Why do that? Yeah, I understand. What you're well, you tell me what the point is. It, it's just a state statute that she enforces. She's not the only traffic officer Would you that writes. Give a ticket for that. I, I really don't leave the office. <laughs> I understand right. what you're saying. I understand you no, have a video I, on there, uh, but the fact is, nobody in their right mind would give a ticket for that to me. No. I, I understand what you're saying, and you producing it, she probably should have taken that ticket away, but I'm going to find out what exactly occurred. Because and she had a bee in a bonnet because she thought she was on a big power trip. Guess what? She's been there seven years. She ain't going to make eight. No. I'll make sure. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get going on. She ain't. All right, listen, that's your prerogative. I want to get, I want to get this started. This is not right, Andy. Okay, I understand. Right. You don't treat people that have treated and supported you like that. I, I, I understand where you're coming from. I do. Bare minimum of respect is yes, sir, no, sir. Not a word of it. Straight up, talking to me like I'm a piece of dirt. Get back in your car. Well, she's there, I'm, she's standing, she's got a car door open, and I'm leaning against here talking to someone. Okay, so in the case that you get hit by traffic, just being difficult, okay. right? just being cocky. Okay. I understand. I do understand where you're coming from. But it isn't, it's a bad interaction. Yeah, it, it, definitely, seemed, interaction. it, definitely, it definitely seemed like it was. It's a bad, <laughs> how difficult is it to come to me and say, you do a 57, give you your license and your registration? Why get into immediately like that? Yeah. When she knew exactly who she was talking to. If that's how, no wonder you got people shooting people in Newtown. If that's how you talk. To them. All right, Martin. I'll talk to you right here. And writing tickets when someone's actually got the physical stuff. You tell me that's. Me. I understand. I do. All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Go to mute. <laughs> News about this incident quickly went viral, with many expressing dissatisfaction with Hyde's behavior. Following that, Hyde offered a disgruntled apology while bragging that his eldest son is a sheriff's deputy. On August 23, 2022, Hyde finally got the reward for his tyrannies when he lost the primary election to Vern Buchanan. Officer Julia Beskin did not lose her job as Hyde had threatened. As of recording this video, she is still working for the Sarasota police. Well, that's all concerning this video. Thanks for watching.